Hello world, Way of Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE e. Power. Now, it seems like my quarry is getting very far down this hole. We're at what? Y equals 23. So, what we can do is pull out all of the diamonds galore that we managed to make here. We got one full stack and half a stack and lots of ores. We'll work on the lots of ores and the other half stack later. But not right now because, eh, don't want to worry about macerating all of those goodies until later. Which would be a pain in the butt. Yep, yep. So let's show you what I've been working on off camera. Trying to be inconspicuous and walk through this hole and walk through here and da 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 da. We got our build craft room. Now, obviously, the floor is a little messed up, but if we walk inside to show, we can see it's a nice glass ceiling with a little bit of cobblestone left over. Let's in a lot of light and we have our uh, conductive pipe of well conductivity up here and going through the ceiling. See it's there it's like it's not even there. Got a tank of oil and fuel just for decoration and if we make our way up without all of this lag, without the lag, thank you. You can see a nice little area where I have all of the conductive piping going in here, nicely hidden and everything. So, eh, nothing's wrong with this. No, nothing whatsoever. Eh, might need to hide a bit of the piping. A different way but for now it seems like it will be good we'll just need to wire up everything and get more engines and this is where the stack of diamonds will come in we can make a lot more refineries than the five that we have there now and put a lot more engines than we have right now we're gonna also have to find out some appropriate ratio of pumps to engines or engines to pumps actually that will be more appropriate. And it's night time. I don't like night time, especially when there's no night. Okay, everything's much better now. Now, I've been working with the AND gates a bit, and they don't really function the way an AND gate is supposed to be. It seems like they have multiple functions within itself, and they have can do different things. It's not with the simple logic AND gates where you have two wires going up to the gate and if both of them are on, are on it does the intended action. It seems like there's just, it's like multiple gates in one so if this is on it does this action but if this is on if it does this action. If they're both on it does both actions which not really an AND gate and a Maybe it's just the fact that I'm probably getting everything wrong with this, but oh well. Now let's add a few more of these engines and see if we actually need another pump. We're also going to, I think we should just fill this entire wall up to like here with refineries. Lots of refineries equals lots and lots and lots of fuel going at a quick rate. Now the only problem would be is that it'd be limited by the speed in which fuel can go down this. Shouldn't be too much of a bother, but it could be, well, bothersome. So let's just go over to our handy dandy uh, crafting and make a few things. How many refineries will we need to fill this wall? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go with seven times two. That's fourteen. Fourteen refineries and a lot of these iron pipes and more conductive pipes as well as redstone engines. 
Now we'll also need a few switches to turn them on using pretty much the same rig as I did here. Though we will need to find out a way to get everything uh, working so that it can... Yeah, I'll just go with the flow. Now let's see, we'll need 16 more redstone engines. Hope I have enough. The limiting factor might be the redstone. So 16. Let's go with an even 20. And wow, it actually got the request. So we got that. We're also going to need quite a few diamond gears. And to do that, we should take a bunch of this diamond and turn it to both gold and we'll also want iron. Yeah, probably a bit too much, but meh. Gold and iron. And we got our diamonds. And let's see, we'll also need a lot of tanks, so we'll need to throw a bit of the gold or whatever in here to get more I think that's enough. More glass. Blah, blah, blah. I think I need more chests. And we're starting to get redstone engines. So let's get 14 of these. We're missing diamonds. So I guess we're only going to make so many of these. So 10 should be good. So 10 times 30 uh, times 3 is 30. We'll also need 20 of these. Hope I got enough of this redstone. We'll also need 30 of the stuff that I don't have. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. That'll make 32 of these. Glass containers. By the way, long time it takes. I'll just wait for everything to just spill out in front of me and then craft the stuff when it's done. Wait, it looks like it's almost there. Yay. Okay. Gears. Tanks. Torches. And we got ten refineries. We'll need a lot more stone waterproof pipes, as well as some uh, golden conductive pipes. And we'll also need to get some more... Hmm, the word escapes me. Let's put this stuff down in the meantime, so that we'll have a better understanding of exactly what we'll need. And it looks like this system is lagging us to death right now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know a lick of Spanish, so I'm not sure if I'm just butchering it or something. At any rate, let's fill up this stuff with nice yummy oil. And we can also put these down. Yep, lag, lag. Now these are AND gates. And I could probably switch them with OR gates, though that doesn't really matter. Really, it doesn't. There's no point. So let's uh, put these engines down. And we will need to change their orientation when we actually get pipes on everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six, that's good. We'll also need to take some more of our iron pipes, which we don't have. Hmm. So we'll need six more iron pipes. 10 more wooden pipes of awesome. We'll also need to expand this slightly 
this will be a temporary patch. No, it shouldn't be any temporary patches because I only have a limited amount. You got those there. We'll also need another stack of uh, six. Actually, that's a perfect amount, though we'll need another stack of redstone, which we can work on. And also, a ton of iron. Like a metric ton. Not the imperial tons. That's a little too much. But yeah, you get the picture. Mm, diamond. Diamond. Got enough redstone. That'll be enough cactus. And we should go with probably a stack of this. And that should satiate our hunger for some of this fiber. That will be enough for patching. This will be enough for uh, the network of energy. This should be enough for our waterproof pipes. And we'll also need wooden ones. And we'll need a bit of glass to do that. Yes, I'm doing science, so shut up. Let me concentrate. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's patch everything up. Me thinks I forgot the iron. That could be a problem idiot okay iron and waterproof there I think we got enough pipes in our arsenal so let's knock this stuff out so we'll need to knock that out one two three I'm trapped oh no okay and we can also fill these up it looks like we'll have enough we'll also need to put these on here Orient being purposefully difficult. There we go. Those are fine. Blah, blah, blah. These are fine as well. And we'll just need to orient these appropriately like so. And it looks like everything is connected, barring these unfortunate circumstances. Unfortunate circumstances? Where did he even come up with that? <sighs> Preposterous. Okay, obviously we're going to need to do a bit more work with the fact that we need to get all of these ore gates. Lag! Yay lag. Why am I saying yay? It's not good. We'll also need five more of those red wire things. And ten more gates. Make that six more, I'd say. And then we will have enough to get this stuff moving. Okay, a lot of those. And up, we'll also need some iron engines which will be a big point into all of this and probably connect this other pump not to this water network but to another water network stop making me lag please and we'll be able to work from there hmm yeah I think that's pretty much covering everything we'll need to also expand this out a bit more and then find some way to control the stuff variably. We'll need probably a lot of diamond chipsets, which we can make later. Diamond chipsets and diamond gates, and also the other colors of alloy wires. Though that will come in good time. Okay, we have 10 extra combustion engines for which to play with. And I got a nice little uh, area for which to work with, so we can just place these down 
like so and they should be nice and comfortable in their positions. We'll of course have to orient them because Buildcraft decides to be saying that hey I do not like you go to hell or something to that effect so I'll have to manually do that. Also I'm gonna have to bring in the cavalry with all of this pipes and bring down a lot of oil rather fuel to fill these bad boys up with you know good stuff not the okay stuff the good stuff yeah we're also gonna need a lot more waterproof pipes than that so we're probably should get a healthy supply of gold in which to work with thank you thank you about yay much I think and why doesn't it go automatically? I guess it doesn't like me. Which is a shame, really. I'm a likable guy. Okay, so this one... will bring all of the water up, and it'll be a two-way split once again. Now, the two-way split is gonna have to not be like that, so... bring this up here. And this will be the initial split, hoping that we can not lose any water. Ah, heck with it. It's not like it matters, it's just water. So that's the initial. And then we can uh, probably split it up here. In which to get the final one. Hey, wait a minute. We're a little too close for that. So we're going to have to break a bit more. And we can put these right here. And bring it down here. Now we'll be able to get water there. Not yet though, because we need conductive pipes. And it's typical me. I probably killed all of our conductive pipes, haven't I? Did I use all of them? Ah, sac a papier. Let's just get a wooden one, then. Wooden conductive pipe works just as well, so what if it's a bit more loss? It's not really worth it. Okay, so this one will fill up all of those engines, whereas this one will fill up those engines. And it is connected to the energy network so that we won't get any of those sucky losses. Now to turn on this stuff we're going to need to put another temporary redstone thing and we also need to fill up the fuel so let's fill this up by taking all of the fuel from there and then just whisking it away to destiny's foreseen and we'll be getting a nice little amount of fuel even though I know it will not fill the entire system. I think for now what we should do is well create more fuel might be a good thing but we lever give me but we should put once again our temporary power um, no, that won't have enough, but let's put a temporary power line there as well. Since, hey, why not? We'll need to get it uh, overloaded somehow. And we should do the same for this. Let's just only give a temporary... Eh, we can... No, we can't. Eh. Why must you be difficult on me? I don't think I can power up the bottom engines in this manner. So I'm guessing, well, I'm not guessing. I know that the top engines are all that I can deal with right now. Except that one single engine. So I'll power that on and that on. And maybe that on. And it'll craft. Ho! Oh, let's just get all of those out of the way. Then we can make some more iron and gates. That is a lot of, well, fuel. 
that it's making. It's also using up all of the excess energy that it can, but also making fuel at a very slow rate, so none of the stuff is optimized. What we can do is punch these out in the meantime so they don't get any power while those are running. That should do it. So when we get quite a few more of these uh, logic gates, hey, does the normal gate work? Let's check and put on... Where are they? Where are you? Where art thou? Ah, it's over here. Let's get a single wire in which we can test and bring this over here. Now let's see. Okay, it can't interact with the red wire at all at all, so that's a bit of a bust. Give me. Unfortunate, so we're going to have to go with the expensive, expensive, expensive uh, stuff. And also, that's going to... Eh, it's still creating fuel, so that's not bad. So, I guess what we should do is wait. Yay, that's my favorite word, waiting. Wait for more stuff. May actually, let's put down two more lasers to expedite the process just a bit. Using a bit more energy. So, do we have enough obsidian? No, we do not. Expedite the process, process, process. Huh. Editing cut. Not obligatory. So, let's do this. We got enough iron. One, two. Yep, that's enough of this obsidian. To make two more lasers. No point having so much energy if we're not going to use it to its fullest. So two more lasers. And there. And yes, I did put wooden pipes there so that it wouldn't connect and make an infinite loop or anything. But it looks like all six lasers as of now are getting and making it very quickly. Now, I did leave room for it to be able to expand even further, meaning that I can probably knock out this amount. Hey, I probably said that already. Anyways, I can probably knock out this ring, and instead of having nine lasers, I could have 25. Key word there is could, because I would still have to figure out that logistical challenge, and also I will need to improve how many engines I have here. Even though, yeah, 20. 20 is not too bad. Well, in the meantime, let's just uh, wait for more of these iron engines turning on a few more while we get access to them. Let's might as well turn this on. And there. Okay. Be right back when I get uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Plus change. Goodness, I hate the rain in this game. Okay, I went back to the quarry and grabbed some of the extra diamonds. And I'm going to outfit this rig with three more lasers. I've got, I took all of the AND gates that were there, there were some left over and put them all on each of them, wired up to this single AND gate. <sighs> Don't know why they're called AND gates, but whatever. So when I flip this switch, all of them will turn on and providing power. Now, what I did was only one of these refineries is currently connected, and I'm going to do a bit of testing to see how many refineries I can going at maximum efficiency while all nine lasers are going. So I'm just going to test that and see that oh, the lasers are going awesomely. Uh, so I'll connect four of these 
see that they're still blue, they're still green. So I'll get this side going. And it looks like it's smart enough to realize that those can't go at maximum efficiency. So I'll take one away. That'll turn off. And those ones will... Eh, they'll go at their own pace, really. Who am I to govern? Ah, they're going fully. That's good. So now I can make some more AND gates. And it's going at a lot faster pace than it was before. But that's because it's doing an iron chipset. Also, I made all of the different types of wires. So now I'll be able to... Eh, let's see. I'll be able to actually make some uh, more logic than flip switch receive whatever it is bacon yes bacon because you're gonna receive bacon with that and as you see I probably showed earlier though I forget all of this these pumps are wired to one single switch so when I pull that it will pull uh, the ones that are connected to AND gates which are currently two plus one spare which isn't really good since these are filling up really quickly with all of the energy that we are throwing into the system now I wish there was more use than just using this because ooh, that goes very quickly because you know frankly I want to do other things other than just doing this all the time I think we got enough red pipe wires for now so we can say IOS to that add these two to the system 112 and 112 turn this back on get the rest of the fuel from those and I guess wait until we have enough AND gates to litter that entire system we need 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 more AND gates to work we're also going to need to put some of the pipes here. So some iron waterproof pipes down. We only have two. And we also need waterproof, uh, wooden waterproof pipes, which we have a few more of. Redstone engines also. And eventually we're going to want to connect these also to some awesomeness. Remote controlled awesomeness. Not quite remote controlled as of now, though... Eh, we can't really complain about that currently. Hey, uh, yeah, you kind of need to face something. Face! Face! There we go. One, two. And there we go. They're going at the appropriate direction. Like they should be. Though we can turn that off. And once again, wait for the impending boredom to hit us okay I finally got the last three AND gates for this system one two one one two and one one two oops that's problematic there we go and we can turn this on and it will take all of the fuel from here and go down the system unfortunately it will be a little slow as of right now because it just pulled out all of the fuel that it could at one go yeah it's very smart that way and I before you say anything I don't really see any point whatsoever putting gold pipes right here since this is really the maximum that it will ever get in the system and yeah, it's not really going to reach that point anymore. And also, I can probably find some place to put some, like, pipes going off to the distance without it being too obtrusive or anything out else. Maybe I can have, like, some glass ornamentation or something, though that's not really... Eh, doesn't really do anything since the glass doesn't really hide the pipe at all. It just covers it up with you know glass and things are filling up 
Now, I think that's everything that we can really do for today. We don't really have much else to do. What I'm planning to do is doing two things mainly. One is to make a little base for that machine down there. Do I have enough power? Yes, I do. Aerial assault. I'll make a base for one of these machines so that it'll have like a filter and everything so that I'll be able to pull everything out of it and won't have to worry about other stuff like that. What am I even saying? I have no idea. Basically, I'll make a... Anyways, you'll have to see that for next episode. And also, I'm going to... Do a secret project which I won't tell you guys because frankly secret projects are secret I'm not sure if you got the memo but just an FYI well that's all the time we have for this episode of EE power if you like what you see don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to future episodes whoa that's a lot of diamonds wave time Signing off. Have a wonderful day.